Yes guys and welcome to another video. In today's video we are explaining why the Leon is currently getting towed away today. So first things first let me just show you why it's dead. Right there's a little bit missing there. So where's the throttle body I imagine is what you're asking. So let me go through some things that have happened to this car since I've last filmed the video and the reason it is currently here and not like anywhere else ever. The Leon itself had some struggle starting in the morning, cold start, typical diesel issue anyway. And I wanted to change the camber sensor. Dad said, try the camber sensor, or cam belt sensor should I say. It might make a difference. So the cam, the cam belt sensor goes, right, so that right there is the cam belt sensor. That goes behind the throttle body, down here, and then out the other side of the cam belt here. So I wanted to change that cam belt sensor to see if that would make any difference. Uh, the throttle body massively in the way. I actually managed to do it without taking it out, but afterwards dad has taken it out just to make it easier to put it back, etc. So when you change this, it unplugs here, and there's also a sensor down here that you need to pull through a hole about that big. But I didn't know that, so I'm sat there faffing for ages, asking my dad, how does this come out? It doesn't make any sense, how does it come out? He goes, it must come out, it must come out. So I cut it, mistake number one, and uh, found out that to replace that sensor, you have to take off the cam belt. What an awful design. So, it's bricked, and it has been bricked for three months because I, I can't take the cam belt off. I'm not a train mechanic. So, today's the day. We're hopefully going to tow it to a garage so they can take the cam belt off just to change a goddamn sensor that I cut in half. Yes, it was my bad, my mistake. But, uh, we have some maintenance to do before that, and I'll show you what I mean. So, as you might be able to see, there's some precipitation on the window, uh, and that has caused some slight moulding. You think that's not too bad? Oh, actually, that looks absolutely disgusting. Oh, don't worry. It's only on all of the interior, absolutely everywhere. Like, look at the absolute state of this interior. Also, yeah, apparently there was food just left in here, so that's disgusting. Uh, that teddy bear on the seat there, that makes me want to throw up slightly. That's awful. So, yes, boys, today, before the car is getting towed away, hopefully by my dad when he turns up, uh, we need to clean the entire interior because that makes me want to vomit, and it stinks, and it's awful. Um, I have tested out what we're doing today, which is warm white vinegar and well warm water and white vinegar uh, and a microfiber there might be better ways of doing this but this is how i'm doing it so what we're gonna do i'm gonna set you guys up and we're just gonna absolutely clean the living hell out of this like look at this steering wheel that is absolutely vile also it's all the way on the inside as well so that's absolutely handy look at the state of that over there so i don't know if this can even come out or the best way of getting it out but look at that that is this. That should not be on a seat. And just for reference, boys, there's a the throttle body. So yeah, that's uh, that's just chilling. Also, I have a puddle over there. You might be able to see. Uh, explain that to me. Also, how has that happened? Like well, that's disgusting. Hold on, let me just. Yeah, that's vile. Uh, speaking of the devil. Hello. Right, I'm by no means a professional boy, so I'm just going to cake my seat in this because I'm assuming the, the vinegar, the alcohol in the vinegar kills it. I don't know that, but that's what I'm going with. So I'm just going to rub this and assume this is doing good. Yet again, I don't know, but I mean, it's gone. What I would like to do is then wet back it and then dehumidify it, I think, just to really get rid of all of the grime. Got it, absolutely. <coughs> Stinks. It's <coughs> That, by the way, that's not even the mould, it's actually the vinegar. Jesus, that stinks. Right, okay, well that's a start. That's a nice little start. Look, that's sittable. Right, I should probably do the driver side actually, because that's a little bit more, you know, vi uh, vital. Right boys, what I did just do off camera, which is a little bit annoying, which you wouldn't have seen, I left the handbrake on, and the, obviously the brakes, because they've not moved, have rusted on. About to do the steering wheel, but I left it in reverse, so I could wiggle it back and forth, and I've uncracked both rear brakes. So, this should be able to move, hopefully. I'm not using this stuff sparingly, boys. I'm absolutely caking everything in it because it's disgusting. God, this absolutely reeks there. I'm trying not to breathe while I'm in it because I just feel like it can't be good for you to breathe in this much mold. So I'm legitimately taking breaths outside the car and then coming back in just to breathe. That might be a little bit overdramatic. I'm sure my dad will laugh at me when he gets here, but God damn, it smells bad in here. For just a quick, basically anti-back wipe, this looks almost usable. Right, let's do this seat, because this seat is absolutely disgusting. I need to get the water out of the footwell as well, because that's also vile. Right, what you'll see here is uh, disgusting amounts of mold. What I've, what I've noticed is, literally, the second it gets wet, it goes, but I don't know if that's just because 
I'm covering the mould in wet. God, this is disgusting. It is coming up surprisingly well, but I don't know if mould just sits on the surface. So the worst is actually in the material. Like, is are these seats gone? Like, are these shot? Because there's actually mould inside, or am I getting rid of the mould by wiping this away? I don't know, but it looks good. Oh, a heater. Imagine whacking the heater on as well. That'd be lovely. Oh, the back seats are worse, you know, but this is where I'm sitting, so I'm sort of focusing on this temporarily. Right, okay. Well, that is... That's sitable. I'd be happy to sit in that seat now. So, do you know what? The more I clean this interior, the more I'm getting excited to use this car again. Like, it just gets me excited because I bloody love this car. But, uh, yeah, I just I killed it like an absolute moron. Right, let's work on this belt, boys. So, it is on both sides, which is disgusting. There we go. There we go. Cake it in the stuff. Absolutely lever it, and I'm just going to wipe it. I would, I, boys, I did think, should I take it for like a full detail, like an interior clean afterwards? Because surely they've got to use some stuff that does this some good, is what I was thinking. Also, uh, wet vacing it, would that remove the mould inside? Because it's obviously like sucking it maybe. So like if I wet vac this and then got like a dehumidifier to suck all the moisture out, would that be a good idea? Or maybe just ramming the heaters on for a little bit? I don't know, these are all thoughts that are going through my head while I'm getting rid of this mould that's absolutely disgusting. I don't know if you actually saw me do any of that, but yeah, I've just uh, wiped the absolute head out of this. And that looks like bloody brand new, look at that. Actually, look, does look pretty good. Considering this was absolutely caked in mould, I would actually like wear this. I'd have this on. Not that I really need it to go like 500 yards down the road, but right, we're going to start with this door and we're just going to work our way in because the door actually isn't too bad, but I just don't want to miss anything ideally. So we're just going to give every single panel a good old disinfection because I don't want to breathe in mould every single day of the week. Right, that's that done. Look at that. It's just, it comes up so good. But yeah, look how disgusting that is vile. And then look, it is just absolutely, oh, that is so grim. Look at the state of that. Right, okay. Let's work on, let me whack you in here. Put it in the comments. Is this how you're supposed to do it? I really don't know. But this is working, so I'm not going to complain. Right boys, we're now going to start cleaning out everything because as you can see there's like bits of mouldy food, rubbish everywhere. Yeah, this car's been left in disarray. Right, so let's now disgustingly get rid of everything in this interior because this makes me want to gag picking any of it up because it is... I've only gagged a ridiculous amount of times. Those mouldy pom bears uh, made me want to throw up for obvious reasons. It was absolutely just, oh, honestly, even thinking about it makes me want to throw up a little bit. Oh. I know the irony of me covering this in wet moisture when it's mouldy, but the whole point is that this should kill most of the bacteria with the vinegar and remove, because it's warm water, remove, or hot water, kill more bacteria. And once the car's running, I can heat up all the moisture, get it out, or use a dehumidifier to suck out all the moisture, and the car should be good as new. Yet again, I probably need to wet vac this entire car because it doesn't stop it from being inside the seats, and that's the bit I am worried about, but let's just get the worst of it, so I feel less disgusting being in it. But boys, we are making very good progress. So, I've done both front seats, although I still need to do the back of the driver's side, steering wheel, door card, gear knob, I need to do the headline, the headline is disgusting. Then we've got the other rear seats, the other part of the bench. I've cleaned out most of that interior. That was absolutely disgusting as well. Boys, we are getting there. Dad's going to turn up soon. I've already unrusted or moved the rear brakes, so they now actually move. We don't know about the fronts yet, but we're assuming if the rears move, the fronts will probably move. And then, boys, we're going to have a bloody moving car. And then it needs to go to the garage to get the camera taken off, to change the sensor I cut off. So, we tried three turn eyes, because I don't have one. None of them fit, so we're going to now try and push it to the garage. <laughs> right, okay. Shall I, yeah. Shall I get the key? I don't need the key. Yeah, on. yeah, because the steering lock will come on. Right. Oh, that was a tall one. Yeah.
Yeah. What was it here? Yeah. Oh, you're going straight through that. This is how far we got. Not bad. I think we need to, where that junction is, yeah. if we can get ourselves to there, we're just gonna have to point the car in the right direction and both go at the back and just mm. push. Yeah, because that is, you can see it's reasonably steep. After that, it'll be fine, it's all flat with downhill. A little bit of fitness for the morning. Yeah. Oh. I'll tell you what though, I'm impressed with the brakes. I thought they'd be worse than that. Yeah, they're, they're rolling nice, yeah, to be fair, it rolls well. Considering, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, turn the steering wheel away. Yeah. That's it. There you go. Right, back to you. Yeah. Right, back to me a little bit so I handled it. Right. Right, a little bit. I'll sit there. <laughs> there she rolls well. To yeah, she fair. does actually. <laughs> Surprisingly well. But if we do it in bite sizes, you're not burning yourself out. Yeah. It's actually going quite easy now. Yeah, that's what I mean. This bit's down here. It's do we use the momentum of this down here to get up as far up the up as we can. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because this isn't taking any energy right now. Right, to you a bit. Yeah. Maybe straight should up. We get some... It's actually speeding up. Yeah, so should we get some momentum in? Oh. <sighs> to you a bit. Yeah. <sighs> to you a bit. That's it. Did you just crack the real? Hey? Did you just crack the real light? Yeah. <sighs> I put my hand in. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that oh man. Oh, I try not to be sick. I can feel it. Oh. I have so much energy to get up that hill. I'll show you what hill we're on about. I didn't just want to stop. <laughs> No, exactly. <laughs> it doesn't really look like it, boys. But that gradient there is probably like, it's probably like, oh, it's hard to, probably like that. And tiring. Very tiring. Oh, my legs. Yep. Oh, wow, yeah, it does line up. To be fair, it's downhill after this. Which I'll probably get in. Yeah, get a little steer. Yeah, only push as much as you need to push. Yeah, it's literally taking itself up. Oh, uh, we're there. Yeah, stop pushing, buddy. That's how I It is here, boys. We made it. We made it. The car is dropped off to have. The sensor, camber off, sensor in, throttle body in, charge, and then hopefully she'll be all running and she'll be the daily driver again, the good old Leon. Oh, there we go. Wow, we got it. <laughs> right, well guys, that is sort of part one. Clean the interior and got it moving and not towed, pushed down the road to the garage for it to get <laughs> fixed. Literally one sensor has caused it completely useless, which is on me. But yes guys, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>